welcome to this session of rapid prototyping in today's session we will discuss different applications of rapid prototyping so there are many applications of rapid prototyping and these are the evolving technologies so many more are coming many new applications are being discussed discovered if we talk about different areas in which rapid prototyping can be used then we can say that rapid prototyping has four basically applications application in design area application in engineering analysis and planning application in manufacturing and tooling and also application in reverse engineering so these are the areas where rapid prototyping can be used depending on the place where or a time of design process where we are using the rapid prototyping if we talk about specific industries where rapid prototyping are used then rapid prototyping finds its applications mainly in aerospace industry why in aerospace industry mainly because this is the industry where number of products to be produced will be very less so mass production is out of the question or most of the products will have complex geometries so producing uh, parts with conventional method and designing parts with conventional method will take very much uh, amount of time in this case rapid prototyping fits perfectly where we can use it although uh, rapid prototyping techniques are uh, more costly if you talk about materials than the uh, and then the conventional technology but when we compare the time of uh, designing time of time saved by uh, designing special toolings etc then we can justify rapid prototyping use in aerospace industry the another industry is automobile industry biomedical industry is also one of the major industry where rapid prototyping is being used in biomedical industry also each part each design each implant will have some different design features some different dimensions so we can use rapid prototyping there in jewelry industry as the jewelry is design will change rapidly and there will be many designs we can use rapid prototyping to verify the designs and dimensions in coin industry and in table wear industry all these industries are the one where designs are rapidly changing and to verify check and uh, change the designs we can use rapid prototyping very easily in these industries now if we talk about specifically design applications that is the uh, topic we want to discuss in this uh, session what are the application of rapid prototyping in specifically design area here when we talk about design we are not talking about uh, calculating something and finding the dimensions we are mostly focus about a creation of touch and feel so when we talk about design applications of rapid prototyping we are centered about touch and feels of the model and also we concern ourselves with 3d objects and we do not think about their performance and functional we uh, want to see their uh, looks uh, how they appear and how they feel so this is what we talk about when we talk about design applications now when we are discussing design applications of rapid prototyping we can say that there are four major areas in which rapid prototyping can be utilized in design the first area is to verify the cad model the another area is to visualize the object how 3d object will look one of the area is giving proof of concept and the fourth one is marketing and commercial applications in the form of design in the form of looks and aesthetics only so there are these are four major areas cad model verification visualizing the objects proof of concept and marketing and commercial application firstly let us discuss the cad model verification so in the cad model verification what we are doing is 
we already will have a CAD system, a CAD design that was created by the designers. But normally the designers need to confirm the physical part with the CAD system because sometimes what happens is the CAD system will not actually give you the real feel of the looks of the product, real feel of the aesthetic of the product. Also sometimes what happens is if the design is uh, very complex, the CAD system might hide some features which are not very clear in the design. So in those cases you can use physical model and we can produce this physical model with the help of rapid prototyping. So this is uh, uh, important for CAD model verification. Also this is specially important when we, we are designing something that is for aesthetic function only. So this intricately design aesthetic functions require verification of the CAD model. So this is where we can use rapid prototyping for verification of CAD model. For example, this is the initial drawing of uh, our uh, part that we want to produce. If we build a CAD model, the CAD model will look something like this. Now, one can imagine how this will look like but this is not the entire picture from the CAD model it is not very clear how this part will actually look like or what features will look how deep because ultimately the 3D CAD model we are visualizing it on a 2D skin itself. So somehow the idea of depth will be lost in the process. So for that we can use rapid prototyping technique. Here we have used lithography to produce the actual physical model from this CAD model. And we can see that the actual physical model which was built by rapid prototyping is more visually informative than the CAD model. So this is one of the application. The another application is visualizing the offset. Sometimes what happens is that uh, we can visualize the object with CAD model itself or we can visualize the object with 2D or 3D designs. But visualizing a part just by looking at a print of 2D design is uh, uh, difficult. Even engineers and tool makers who deal with it regularly uh, require several minutes or sometimes more time to actually study the print and most laymen, common people cannot uh, understand the de design and most of the senior managers, senior management will be those people who cannot uh, understand the design, understand the engineering drawings uh, as a engineer can you understand. So to make sure that this senior management understands the design uh, particularly very well, we can uh, print those objects and we can give those uh, uh, 3D printed object or uh, additive manufactured object to the management and the management can decide if the design is looking good or not, if the aesthetic of the design is good or not. Uh, I have some example here. Uh, see, this is a very intricate design. If we do a 2D model or a 2D print of front view and top view of this design then it will be very complex. It has so many features, so many holes in it, so many lines going out there. Even 3D model will be very difficult to visualize. So in those cases you can use rapid prototyping. Similarly this complex shape, here it is also on very complex shape. So it will be very easy to visualize in 3D with rapid prototyping uh, with rapid prototyping as we can actually use the additive manufacture to manufacture this 3D object rather than just uh, visualizing or rather than just imaging how the object will look like by looking at a 2D drawing or a 3D model which will be in the computer. So 
this is another example of such complex and integrate shape. So, this is the uh, uh, application of visualizing the object with help of rapid prototyping. Another application is proof of concept. Now, proof of concept relates to the adaptations of specific details where object environment or aesthetics of that particular object is actually functional or not, we can ask it that if it is actually functional or not. For example, if you are designing a telephone, then uh, is telephone big enough to be fitted in your hand? If there is enough space in the telephone that we can mount all the other components in the telephone itself. So, this is what proof of concept in design means. Now, I have this example here where we have this uh, turbine blade design and we have this uh, casing which is not very conventional. It is an open casing. So, this 3D model of uh, additive manu made with additive manufacturing technique gives a proof of the concept that this type of integrate, however integrate shape it is, this type of designs can be utilized to house a turbine and we can further study how the effect of this uh, housing will be there. So, this is what we mean by proof of concept. And the last application is marketing and commercial application. Now, marketing or commercial application, uh, when we talk about marketing or commercial application, the marketing department often requires a physical model for presentation to the customers or for evaluation. But sometimes the physical model will not be uh, available. If you are making some new products, something novel, then you will not have a physical model till the actual mass production begins. So, until up till then, you can use a rapid prototyping model to present the part or present the product that we are building. Uh, for example, uh, most of the builders will use a 2D plan in their brochures for advertising. But if you have a 3D model of the same building that you want to build, a small scale however, a small scale 3D model, then you can show these small scale 3D models in presentations and in promotion to the customers so that they can actually easily visualize how the product will look like and you can use it for marketing as well. So, the, if you are uh, talking about a new scheme uh, of a builder, then we can use this type of 3D models. This is the same area where a model of a villa is presented to the customers, but this is not just limited to construction uh, side uh, only. We can use the same concept in automobile for new products launching, in uh, other uh, areas also where you are launching new products but the mass production hasn't even started. So, what you will do, you will have a 3D model with you and you can show that this is how our product will look like when it, when it comes to the market. So, this is the uh, application of uh, rapid prototyping in the design specifically. So, this will be it for the session. In the next session, we will discuss what are different applications, what are different applications in the engineering analysis and planning field for rapid prototyping. Happy learning till that.